Hey everyone, it's Thomas here. So recently I filmed a video on a very interesting cable. And first of all, I got to apologize to the video recording that the voice recording was really bad in that video. Uh, I had an issue with my mic. Now, before we watch that video, uh, I just want to quickly make a few comments on uh, cables. It is after all one of the most debated topic, one of the most controversial topic when it comes to audio gear. And the truth is, I don't like debating about it because I will lose in a debate. If logically, if you think about it, if somebody asks me if you can hear a difference, then show me the measurements. I'm like, man, I got nothing, man. So I am well aware of all the counter arguments uh, on cable, such as double blind test, placebo effects, and so forth. So let's just not use this space to debate. Right? You can do it in the forums, you can do it somewhere else. Uh, I'm not here. Inter I'm not interested in doing that because, as I said, I will lose in a debate. So now, for the rest of you who still want to stick around uh, because you're just curious what I have to say about cables, uh, then yeah, let's get to it. Now, I spend a lot of time trying different cables. And one thing I realized, uh, having spent a lot of time uh, with cables, is that I will fail blind tests. In fact, maybe 30% of the cables I try, I am confident that I can tell a significant difference. So I get messages, emails sometimes, people telling me that they have a few friends over and they, they test cables and they can't tell a difference. And usually I tell people like that, if you can't hear a difference, there is no difference. Just don't waste your time on it. Sure, I have friends who have hearing of Superman and they can tell difference, minute, minute difference, yeah. But for me, when it comes to spending money on a component, it should be black and white. After spending a lot of time with cables, I come to the realization that cables difference is very subtle, number one. And number two, you can't think of it like oranges and apples, like speakers. The way I see it is that they're like apples. They're all apples. So if you look at this picture here, you have all kinds of apples. Here is where the problem is. If you choose apples that are very close to each other, you might not be able to taste the difference. Worse yet, you might be choosing the same apple. It's just that it's planted in a different location. So that's why a lot of the cables I tried, I can't tell a difference. But over the years, I've gained the experience that I'm able to pick certain cables where I can pass blind tests easily. So. For those of you who are still on the fence on it regarding cables, if you look at this uh, picture here, then what you should realize is that there are a lot of different kind of cables, silver cables, copper cables, coaxial cables, and so forth. And if you want to convince yourself once and for all, if you want to overcome the placebo effect. Now, when I say this, I mean it this way. I don't believe cable makes a difference. Therefore, I cannot hear a difference is as valid as I believe in cables, so therefore I can hear a difference. If you need to overcome that, the fact that I can't hear a difference because I don't believe it, and this is where you have to choose two extreme, right? If you choose the apple on the top right and the apple on the bottom right, you will be able to tell a difference. So that's why when I meet subscriber, when I meet people uh, who come over to my place, it's very easy for me to demonstrate to them the difference in cables. I just have to choose the extreme. In my case, I have a whole set of in, uh, cables that are made of silver or even platinum plus silver, and then versus a whole set of cable made of just, simple, just simply copper, and they're tuned to be very soft. So when I show people the extreme end, like very bright cables and very soft cables, you can pass blind tests easily. Now, this is just my experience, and no, I don't have any measurements to show it. So, despite having a lot of experience with cables, I tell people, don't waste your money on cable. If you look at the comment section in my YouTube videos, people ask, when they, people ask me questions on cables, I usually respond with, don't bother, just spend your money elsewhere. Because to play with cables, you need some guidance, and you need some experience. The only time I would suggest somebody to try a specific cable is when they find that the system is not revealing enough. That's when I go, all right, try some silver cables that might solve your problem. Uh, some of the subscribers who come to my place, actually, 
the good part is that I, I'm able to help them because I can lend them my cables and I know specifically which ones to lend them based on their problem. So in short, it is something that despite me having a very strong opinion on it, I don't recommend it. So I'll finish this uh, first part of the video with a story, all right? Uh, recently, I went over to my friend's place to do an A-B test uh, between the Focal Kanta and the Focal 936. So me and my friend, a vintage friend, because he, I call him vintage friend because he owns a lot of vintage gear, went over and we were doing A-B tests. So in the beginning, when we start tests, my friend made the swap. And then both of us were like, mm, you know what? The instrument separation is just not as good as the speaker before. And my friend who made the swap said, you know, uh, no, I didn't swap speaker. I swapped cables. That's what happened. And this is interesting because both of us did not know that he, he, uh, he swapped cables. And yet we both hear exactly the same thing because we talked about it. Hmm. You know, instrument separation went downwards. So that's why with experience like this over the year, I am very confident when it comes to cable that it makes a difference. All right, guys, so let's not debate it because every single argument has been already been brought up. It really brings nothing to the table. Uh, this is just for me to share my experience. So what you can do with what I just said is to follow. If you ever have a chance to get a whole set of cables that are made of silver, meaning the USB cable, the interconnect and the speaker cable, and then you get a whole set of cables made of copper, and then if you get a chance to A-B test it, you might be very surprised. So I guess that's the takeaway from this video. All right, guys, let's check out that special cable that I was talking about. Hey guys, it's Thomas here. So today I am gonna show you guys a very high-end cable. So uh, why am I doing it? For fun, right? On my channel, you see me talk about $100 speakers. You see me talk about $300,000 systems. I talk about whatever I find fun. So if you're the kind of person who sees a Ferrari pass by and go like, oh, nice car, and then move on with your life, yeah, then you can enjoy this video. If you're not that kind of person who start cursing and say that person should not waste money on the Ferrari, you know, a Honda Accord is good enough, then you might as well stop watching this video right now because this is a very high-end cable. And I'm not here to debate about speaker cable interconnects, does it make a difference or not? That for another video i'm doing it just for fun so if this kind of stuff offends you i'm going to invite you maybe at this point you should you know uh go check out my other videos because uh one thing i won't tolerate is when people start attacking my friends uh they're nice enough to let me film their plays their gear and i think that it's it's okay to check out high-end gear once in a while even though that me like me i can't afford it it's still fun to check it out. All right, guys, let's check out what's in this box. All right, guys, do you really think I'm going to make a serious video on a 22,000 MRSP interconnect? Come on, it's for fun. So the, so the interconnect comes in a nice uh, suitcase. You can tell it's hand-built, leather wrap. Even the handles are made of leather. And um, I think I spent as much time looking at the suitcase as the cable. If you look inside, you'll notice that uh, this Opus uh, interconnect has two networks. Usually high-end cables have one network. That's that little round thing on the cable you can actually calibrate these cables uh, meaning that you tell them what you have and uh, they'll calibrate it for your equipment my friend actually uh, before he bought these cables uh, tested it at his place you're spending that kind of money you want to make sure that it sounds good and it does make a significant difference else there's no point upgrading and uh, one thing he noticed is that okay even before calibration there is a difference and after when he bought the like the official uh, one for himself and it was calibrated for his system and uh, he said yeah there is a difference bet uh, between uh, before calibration and after calibration 
So if you're wondering how it sounds comparing the uh, new interconnect with the old interconnect. So this interconnect is used uh, right now from the CD-ROM to the preamp. Um, I never did an A-B test, so I can't really tell uh, what's the difference. But based on my memory, um, I would say base is more tight with this interconnect. As I said, I, didn't, I did not A-B test it, but this is just based on memory. So when I spoke to my friend, he told me everything got leveled up. More specifically, it's the mid-range. Uh, vocal cl uh, clarity is clearer, uh, bass is tighter, and he felt that the sound stage got deeper. So these are the three main things he felt like um, it was a big upgrade for him. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. No long video today, no in-depth analysis and so forth. I just want to make a video for fun, and this is it. All right, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time.